All right. Welcome back, everyone. Dr. Ben, not a real doctor here. I know I've been gone a while, but sick, travel, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, here I am. Today, I want to bring you five stretches that you should do before you go on a walk. 10 or 15 minutes of stretching can make a big difference on a walk. And walking is a superfood of movement, so it's probably a good idea to jump on these. Before we get started, remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. Thanks, and let's get right into it. All right, so we're gonna start off with a calf stretch. I'm gonna use a couple tools to help me out today. Uh, neither of these tools are essential. You don't have to use these tools specifically, but it does help to have something along these lines to uh, facilitate stretching. So I'm gonna be using a dumbbell, and this is just for the calf stretch, and it's just something to put my foot on. It can be anything, you can prop your foot up for this. And then I'm gonna be using a stretch rope to help with uh, most of the other stretches. You can use something simple like a towel or a sheet or something. It doesn't have to be a specific rope for stretching. So we're gonna start with the calf stretch and we're gonna use the dumbbell here. I'm just gonna set the dumbbell on the floor and I'm gonna start with my left foot. I'm gonna put the ball of my foot up on top of the grip. All right, this is gonna elevate the front of my foot and help me get a stretch in the calf and also probably the back of my leg too. And what I'm gonna do is once I have my foot, the ball of my foot elevated, I'm gonna keep my left leg straight and keep my hips back over my left heel and slowly start walking my right foot forward until I feel a stretch in my calf. Now the trick here is to try and keep your left quad uh, the front of your leg from tensing up and really tightening. So you want to get a stretch in the calf without really locking out your knee. Once you find that good stretch position, then you want to hold it for about a minute. We're going to hold all our stretches for about a minute today. All right. When you've done your minute there, then switch sides and do your right foot. Okay, next we're gonna move on to a hamstring stretch. You're gonna need something, well, you don't need it, but it helps to have your little stretch rope to get a better stretch. So we're gonna lay on our back. I'm gonna start with my right leg on this one. You can start either way. You're going to loop the stretch rope over the ball of your foot, pull down, and then you're going to pull your foot towards your head. Try to keep this leg from bending and coming up. If you're really tight, Bend your leg and keep just keep it up like this. That way you can focus on stretching the back of the other leg. If you have a little bit more flexibility, leave this leg down and then you'll get a better stretch, in this case, your right leg. So don't push your foot towards the ceiling. You want to also stretch the calf. So let your foot come down and then pull your foot towards your head. And again, we're going to hold this stretch for about a minute. After a minute, switch up to the next one. Enjoy the stretch. Okay, after you've done both stretches for your hamstring, then we're gonna move on to the next stretch. All you're going to do is keep holding on to this stretch rope and you're gonna drop your leg to the outside. If you get way off to the side, you may need something with this hand to hold on to and steady yourself. Uh, if not, then that's all right too. You can also place your elbow down on the ground to brace yourself and kind of hold on here. And again, try not to contract all the muscles up here in your hip and just let the stretch happen. Once again, hold this stretch for about a minute and then switch to your other side. We're gonna keep rolling and now I'm gonna take same position. This time we're gonna drop our leg across our body. Get a stretch along the outside of your hip. You may find that this is quite a bit tighter than the other ones. For me, this is my tightest range of motion. Um, if you find a spot that's really tight, you may wanna spend a little extra time on it just to help things release a little bit. Once again, Hold this for about a minute, and then move on to our last stretch. 
uh, we're going to be back up and we're going to do a quad stretch to finish up. Okay, we're going to finish up with a quad stretch. You don't need a stretch rope anymore, but you may want a cushion just to make it a little easier on your knees. I have a sandbag right here I'm going to use. It doesn't have to be a sandbag, you can just grab a cushion off your couch or something like that. So, I'm going to start by putting my knee up here on the sandbag. Again, just so I'm not shoving my knee into a bunch of concrete. Now, I'm going to reach back, grab my foot. Don't grab below the ankle because you want to stretch the top of your foot too. So grab down around the top of the ball of your foot. You're going to set this front foot as wide as you need to to keep your balance. And then you're going to pull your foot towards your butt. Now you can see I'm a little leaning forward here. If you still have range of motion, you're not getting a great stretch, then just slowly shift your hips backward and you'll get a stretch right across here, the front of your hip. Try to keep a nice, good alignment between ear, shoulder, hip, and knee. That way you're getting a biologically efficient stretch. And again, we're gonna hold this for about a minute and then switch to the other side. All right, so there you go. Five really good stretches to help you restore your range of motion before a walk. This way you can get more out of your walk and you can make better uh, improvements to your movement patterns when you're walking instead of building on poor movement patterns from having tight muscles. Thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to like and share it. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe so you can keep catching all these fun tips to improve your movement. And until next time, keep your life in motion.